We've done it, it's another new year. Happy New Year to all my beautiful subscribers, old and new. And thank you for staying with me, sticking with me, standing by me, whatever you want to call it, since day one. First video going up for my 2015 on my channel is, as you can tell by the title, is a new brush collection. Now, there's been a lot of controversy going on about this. Highs and lows, good, bad, but I treated myself. Obviously, as many of you guys know, my birthday's on the 5th of January, which is a day, depending on when this goes up. And um, I'm excited and I thought I'd treat myself, Christmas, birthday, what you know. And I decided to pick up three of the collection. Now, before I, I'm, I'm talking about things that I've been saying what I'm talking about, I'm talking about the new Real Techniques Bold Collections brushes. Now, these have had so many mixed reviews, and I will link below as well to the video that Sam and Nick actually put up on their channel, and I think on Real Techniques as well, talking about this collection and why it is why the brushes are in certain places rather than other places. And I'm going to give you my overview and first impression of the brushes because I have not opened these. Well, I have kind of opened them, but I haven't really tested them and tried them out. But I really want to give you my first impressions in a video form because I talk a lot and I would rather chat to you guys um, for you guys wondering about the collection rather than writing it up on my blog, which I probably will do in the end. But I thought it'd be better as a video form. So let me start off with ones I picked up. So I raided the food stock room, <laughs> as you do. Um, so basically, the only two brushes that I saw out on Tuesday were the rose gold ones because they did not have any space for the rest of the brush collection. Now I raided the, I, I decided to raid the stock room in boots because, as you do, and I found the rest of them. And I decided to pick up three, only three brushes because. That's my budget at the moment. <laughs> as you can tell, you'll probably, you'll probably understand why I only picked up three. As much as I really want to get all of them, I might do, but maybe maybe once a month, or maybe once I want to treat myself. But anyways, let's start off um, with basically the colours and the range. So basically, the Real Technique Sam and Nick came out with seven new brushes from and they call and they call them bold metals as you can tell so you get two rose gold brushes you get another two gold ones in the collection and there's three silver ones now I'm not a big fan of silver but I like the golden I like the golden rose gold rose gold is my favourite so that's hence why I got both of them and um let's just get into the prices I guess if we're gonna start off there let's just start at the prices now these, unfortunately, all sold out on Boots.com already, but you can still find them in store depending where you go. Um, I'm not sure about Ulta because obviously they are available in the US and Ulta, but Boots.com online, they're all sold out. So whatever you find in your stores, that's all that's left basically at the moment. Um, I picked up, so let me start off with this one. I picked up the Bold Methods Flat Contour because I like the brush and the brush is perfect for contouring. That's what I love doing, as you can tell, I love the contoured look, it's just my favourite. So I thought I'd start off, start off with um, basically the prices and what's in the collection. So you've got the number 100, which is the Arch Powder, which retails for £25. Hmm. We'll go into the prices after, about the, what, what I think about the prices after. So you've got the lovely powder brush, it's a very good powder, um, a, a very good shape and size. I think that's a really good one. Um, then you've got the 101, which I'll leave a, a, a link, I'll leave a little image here because I don't have that on me at the moment. So the 101 is a triangle foundation and that retails for £22 in the UK. That one's got like a three point kind of foundation brush. Um, you can really get into the areas, these areas right here, and it's very good if you want that preciseness when you're doing your foundation. Um, next, we're going to move into the silver um, bold metal collection, which is the I um, collection, which I don't have any at the moment. Um, you've got the 200 with the oval shadow, which retails for £15. Pounds. I'm going to look at the picture right here. Um, you've got the 201, which is the pointed crease, that retails for £12. I'll leave the picture here as well. And then you've got the 202, which is the angled liner, which is the smallest in the line, and that retails for £10. Pounds. And then 
the last but not least is the rose gold, the most popular of the range for sure as I would say. Um, you've got the 300 which is the tapered blush. Now have a look at all the um, brushes because I um, had I got I was able to choose from three um, brushes because they're all different. And uh, I had there was one that was really fluffy. There was one that was really more like a foundation, like flat, and which I did not like. Um, so just have a look and kind of have a look at them because there's one was like I've my hair out and stuff like that. So just make sure you, if there's more than one, have a little look and just don't just get the first one you see. Um, that one retails for twenty four pounds. And last but not least, it's probably going to be the most popular one, and even Sam's favourite, which I'm going to say I agree with her, um, is the 301 Flat Contour, which retails for £22. Um, now, this is probably one of my favourites out of them all. Um, if, as at the back, it says um, that it is a dense head, creates shadows and highlights on targeted areas of face, play up safe features. But obviously, as you can see, I would definitely use it for my contours and all the shadings and whatsoever. Now moving on to prices. Now as you could have tell everything kind of ranged from like £20 apart from like the eyeshadows were like £10, £15. Um, my honest opinion, I if it's good quality I will pay the price, I'll pay the money. Um, just because I know that the core brushes have done so much success that I know that the premium obviously going to be, it's not going to be for everyone. So it's not, not everyone's going to have not going not everyone's going to want to buy these brushes but if you're a makeup artist if you like pretty brushes if you're obsessed with brushes as a makeup artist myself i'm obsessed with having everything pretty everything that's eye-catching that stands out especially if i'm working on clients or if i'm working in a big group i want to know which one's my brushes obviously these are my personal brushes but if i do like them i think they're really good for my kit i will actually invest in them and put them into my kit that's what i kind of that's my kind of view on the brushes. Sam and Nick actually did state that there are premium brushes. They are easy to find, that's what they wanted to do. They didn't want to put them in small houses where they're not as easy to find. Instead, they put them in Boots and Ulta, which is easy for people to get a hold of them if you really wanted them, rather than having to go like into London just to get these certain brushes, or you have to go to a big website, like a very like high-class website to get them. So I totally agree, and I'm actually happy that they put them in stores which are very easy to get a hold of. Um, that's what I think. Now, whilst I'm here, I thought I'd open them and give you like a little overview of all my thoughts and stuff like that. I'm going to start off, as you can tell, by this one because it's my favourite and this is the 301 Flat Contour. So if I just open this quickly, um, let's see how I do it. So, here. so let's just see the feel and stuff and what I think of the brush. Um, I love the packaging. These are going to be so much fun to polish when they get dirty and stuff because obviously, as you can tell, these are going to get dirty. 100%. Okay, so they are they glued? No, they've got like a little tape thing around them. Okay, got that. Obviously, the first thing I'm going to say, they, they are going to get fingertips on them. Straight away, I can tell um, it's got a lovely density and it's really, it's, I like the kind of feel to them. Very soft. Um, I like that they're all white rather than your basic black, but they are synthetic, so it's very good because you can see how much product is actually on your brush. So you make sure you actually brush and clean them and stuff. Very soft. I like how it kind of goes a bit rose goldeny and then goes white. I love the kind of feel of the handle. That's the, probably the first thing I want to say. The feel of the handle is amazing. Um, I think it's going to be perfect for your contouring. Um, especially this one's can, can go down the nose, you can do the forehead, but it's got the lovely weight and I think I'm going to really like this. What um, Sam and Nick actually pointed out in the video, which I was really excited to find out, is that these are kind of triangular and like diamond shaped, so they won't roll off your um, table. So when you pop it down, it's not going to roll off like normal brushes would, it will actually stay there and not go anywhere, which is fabulous. I like that idea that they came up with. Um, they did change the um, logo as well, just in case anyone was asking. But that's basically that one. And let's go into the second one, which is the 300 Tapered Blush. Now at the back it says, especially designed um, tip highlights and scalps across the cheek and seamless fish finish. Um, funny, and these actually have like little um, scanny codes, things that you can see tutorials on how to use them, which is fab. And um, if I open this one as well. 
So let's just see exactly what this does and what I think of it. So again, it's just, oh my god, the, it's so soft, guys. I think this is really good if you want that preciseness. So if you want the preciseness, either as a blush, and it's actually small enough to go use as a highlighter. Well, kind of as a highlight. So if you want more of a highlight, you can actually go up. But I'd probably use more of a blush. I like everything to be precise. So I think that's going to be really good for like the highlight kind of and highlight and blush. And I really like the diamond shape. Um, yes, they do get finger marks. As I said, I'm seeing finger marks all over them. I'm actually getting a bit paranoid with it. But I really like the density of them. Um, as this is actually lighter than the contour one. So to give you a bit of an idea, but I like how it's all kind of rounded on the top. So that's that one. And let's go on to the last one, which is the powder brush. And this is the arch powder, and at the back it actually says the don't cups, the don't cut sweeps perfectly across the face for flawless application of pressed and loose powders. So if I open this one up quickly, you can see what it looks like as well. I like how they all have like this kind of um fade i like how they have this kind of fade that goes into like the gold goes up to the white i think it just looks so nice and so different so again this is the gold one guys as you i'm i'm getting a bit paranoid with all the finger marks but anyways um it's so soft and this i think it's a very good shape for all powders as well um again i love the coloring i think these brushes are going to Probably my favourites out of them all, and I like the fact you can see the um, products on the brushes. So if you do think you've gone overboard and you need to wash them, it will let you know. But I think these would be really nice as a collector's kind of thing. Overall, I think um, Real Techniques, Pixie Woo, um, Nick, Sam and Nick have done a really good job with this collection. I will probably get every single one. I have to admit, I do want every single one. Um, I might not get them all together because it is a lot of money. But it's a collective thing, something that you just collect. And I do agree that they could be more for a makeup artist, maybe more for someone who is a makeup holder and who likes makeup, who loves brushes, who loves everything to be different rather than your basics. But I like the fact that they don't roll off when you do your makeup. Perfect for us makeup artists and makeup junkies that are doing freelance or something and you don't want anything falling off, embarrassing yourself in front of customers. That would be the worst. But then, yeah, that's my overview. I um, I will pay the price for these brushes. I think they're very good quality. Um, yeah, I hope you like my overview of this of the um, Bold Metals collection. Um, give it a big thumbs up if you did like this and you found this kind of helpful in any way. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below and I will try and answer you as much as I can, as quick as I can. And subscribe if you want to see more videos coming away in 2015. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye everyone!